What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory. Yeah, that's my laboratory for today. Safety is number one priority. I'm in LA with Alex, keep the heat, and we're gonna do something awesome. We're gonna do a pretty dangerous experiment, so do not try this at home. We're gonna open a bottle of wine with a torch, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. So we're gonna turn on the torch and light it. Okay, as you can see, and then we're gonna put it and kind of warm it up over here. Step back a little bit, just in case. But the cork is supposed to start pull pull out slowly. Oh, my torch went out. Let's see what happens. It might take a minute, but it should be possible. What I want to do is warm up the bottle next to the... Whoa! Boom! Nice! Oh, That's yeah. awesome! I love your reaction! <laughs> next to the... Big. Whoa! Boom! Nice! <laughs> well, look, it's actually boils a little bit, but... That's actually really cool, though. That's like a science experiment itself. Just that right there. So, guys, check it out. Maybe it's not a good way to open a bottle of wine. No, it's actually pretty cold. Bottle of wine still cold. The tip kind of hot. The, the cork melted a little bit, so you want to kind of do it a little bit lower. Let's try it again, but how does it work? Pretty much air expanding when we heat it up, so the vacuum pops out the cork. Very cool experiments. Let's try this again. Let's do it. Oh, shit, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> This one more expensive bottle, so the seal is much better. Whoa, what the heck was that? Cheap, cheap stuff. So the seal much better, so it might take a little bit longer. Oh, I know why, because I put it all upside down. You cannot do that. Whoa! Did you see? Wow, it actually awesome. took a while. It's actually built up the like pressure inside of it, and it just because this bottle is more expensive, it like built up the pressure in there and just popped out. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, like I there, kind of move it around. Yeah, up and down, up and down. Lower. Don't do it on a cork. Yeah, you see how it heats oh, up slowly? Yeah. Okay. No, let's do it more time. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty cool. That's how that you open awesome. a bottle of wine. No hot. It's boiling oil a little bit. It's pretty cool. I mean, the wine what boiling. If we just keep the torch there. Does it just keep boiling? You probably will pop the bottle. And yeah. You know what I mean? But that's cool. The bottle is still cold you can pull out a little bit and look well, look how cool it is well the only thing left to do now is celebrate i know i mean wine is still cold and still good the bottle is still a little hot so you might want to cool off this bottle can before you drink it it's too hot it's right what now. if i just like without touch my mouth dude i just kind of like you think it's still good actually it's not too hot try it no, you can touch. It's not too hot. Try it. Come on, don't be scared. Still drinkable, right? Yeah. It was weird. And it's still cold, you know what I mean? So if you like really desperate, how to open a bottle of wine, <laughs> and you have one of these, it's possible. Or it's just a cool like party trick yeah it's cool party trick but they just gotta they, be careful the best part is like it's a cool science experiment as well because when you heat up the air it's expanding mm -hmm. and creates vacuum in that i mean so it's there's nowhere air to go but push out the cork and magic happens all right guys that's pretty much it subscribe to keep the heat he helped out a lot and what do you guys think how does it work 
why did the cork pop out? Simply because we heat up the bottle, the air when heats up expanding, when freezes kind of gets together. So because of the expansion of the air, nowhere to go, pops the cork out. Simple science. That was awesome. Exactly. Let me know what do you think comments below. Thumbs up. Subscribe to keep the heat. Links in description. And as always, thank you for watching. See you later. Woo.